we're on our way to meet Aaron Yeager himself right now. We're going to go meet his voice actor. And um, if you guys are new to the channel, you may not know, but I'm literally Aaron Yeager. So this is uh, this is pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get him to like say something for the video or something like that. And then uh, Gabe's coming today. So that's a big surprise. So we're probably going to get a workout in with him later if he's not too tired from the trip. If not, probably tomorrow. I'm Steph Myers. No, I'm Steph Myers. No, I'm Steph Myers. <laughs> I'm Steph Myers. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome, nice man. You. Nice to meet you too, and I wish you a lot of luck with your YouTube. Thank you. And you pursue VO. Good luck with that. I really too, appreciate man. it. Come on. We're back. Dude, I don't. Where is this goddamn thing? It's over here, bro. I'm sniffing your ass, bro. We're gonna have to get in that. I'm sniffing your booty butt. Oh, shit, we're gonna have to go for a little spin, man. I'm sniffing that butt, bro. <laughs> this is so crazy to me. Bro, is this insane? We got both our whips, bro. Let me give you a little something, man. Park my shit behind your shit. Me and all my bros, like, kind of made it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we literally did what we said. Yeah. Let me make it fucking cinematic. Ew. Why are there three, like, super powerful cars and, like, guys that Super powerful cars? men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, powerful men. Holy shit, my exposure. <laughs> fucking Dom Toretto's house right now. What are my two bros like, doing? What is this? What's going on? We need to start playing some fucking that reggaeton Latino shit. Dum 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 dum. First, first, up, 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 up. You know the fast lane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> banana Gabe? Gabe with the banana? Hey. What he gonna do with it though? This shit kind of big. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, it is big. You're right. You're absolutely correct. This is enormous. That might be the biggest banana I've ever seen, honestly, bro. Oh no, it looks kind of small. I don't know, I think it's kind of humongous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The right way. Hey, bro, that's a, a perfect technique. Thanks, bro. Let me try this. What do you got for me? You got a skull and crossbones? Hey, Gabarl. Gabarl, come inspect this pre. Me needing to study for 30 minutes. Oh, me grinding the game for eight hours just to get a cooler helmet. <laughs> Let me see my bro getting into there. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Hello, bro. <laughs> yeah, no way. That's a great shot. Come on, big ass titties. Come on, come on, bat. Batman. Big ass titties, man. Eat big to get big. 
about it. Eat big to get big. But he's not eating any. Oh yeah. Bro's already had like two rolls, so. How about you do Zoltar? Zoltan or whatever the fuck Zoltar. Right here. Holy fuck. I actually love bro, this they, movie. They're out. I guess it's me and you now. Wanna do it, bro? Zoltar. One dollar? Not really. <laughs> I'll do it. I do it. <laughs> get it, get it, bro. I got it. What do I do? I don't know, bro, but you're about to wake up and like look like a I fucking... I see you over there. Oh. Yes, you. Come Me. on over and let Zoltar... Come on over! Alright. The great Zoltar here. Listen to this, your fortune. For I tell you, it is true. <laughs> the smallest good... Tell me my fortune. ...better than the grandest intention. Take it from me, the great Zoltar. Intending shall get you nowhere, but doing, yes, that will bring you much, much reward. Provide Zoltar more treasure, and I will provide you with the depths of wisdom. No. Holy what? shit. What is it? Oh, that's your fortune. He just paid a dollar for that. I thought he was about to spit some knowledge at you. Soon I'll be invited by a friend to do something I would normally turn down. Go. You'll be delightfully surprised by the time you have and you will start to learn that some of the best things in life are on the other side of fear. Damn. That's kind of eyes all time. Okay, shit, man. Hey, oh, hey, nice ass mustache. Boy, you got nice ass mustache, boy. Thank you very much, Zotar. Thank so you very much for the Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank, you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. You got a nice jewelry on you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, bro. <laughs> 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 bro starts talking. Hey, bro. I am Zoltar. Oh, I am Zoltar. <laughs> I got a fucking jewelry on right now. I have my flute, my fucking virgin, my fucking relevant. <laughs> my Voltar Vicks. Voltar fucking Vicks. I don't know if this is that accurate, but I'll take it. Hey. For a dollar? Whatever. Alright, guys. So that's gonna wrap up the video. Sorry this is a short one. I just finished editing actually. I realize it's only like six and a half, seven minutes long, so. But if you guys have any video suggestions or ideas that you wanna see me do, leave them in the comments. I still gotta do an apartment tour and a full day of eating. I'll probably make that like one video, both of those things. But anything other than that, if you guys wanna see me do it, if you guys wanna see more stuff, let me know what you like, what you don't like in the videos, and I'll try and do more of what you guys like. So, I hope you guys had a great day today, and um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, man. It's Beth Monday. Right? Is it Monday? It's Beth Monday. So, go kill it this week. Let me leave you some words of wisdom. Let me uh, try and conjure something up, up in here. All right, so this one might be a little simpler cliche, but whatever you do, do it with confidence. You should really try and be yourself throughout everything that you do. And I know sometimes that's hard, especially if like you're introverted, because I consider myself pretty introverted, but I'm sure in my videos, you guys see me, you're like, oh, this guy's like, you know, not <laughs> introverted. He seems pretty extroverted, but I even catch myself sometimes, like I'll get in a situation and I'm like, damn, like I don't really feel that confident right now. Um, and I'm like overanalyzing everything. I think the ADD has to play a lot into that. Like I really th just dissect every little thing that's going on around me. That could be a double-edged sword because yeah, you're really aware of the situation, but like you gotta, sometimes it takes you out of the situation because you're thinking so much about what's going on around you instead of just experiencing it and just letting go a little bit. Because honestly, bro, nobody really gives a shit. Like if, if you really think that people really care about any little move that you make, then you couldn't be more wrong because honestly, everybody's in their own little world and people are more selfish than you think. People people really don't care about you like that much. And I don't mean that to be in a blunt way. I mean that actually to be in a good way. Who cares, bro? Go, go out in public, start vlogging. Fuck it. There's been some times where I've vlogged in public and I'm like, I feel awkward as fuck, but damn, some of those videos have done really good. So what if I were to not do that? You know, sometimes I literally just count down in my head. I'm like, all right, fuck it. There's this thing that I really want to do right now, but I feel really awkward and I don't know what to do because I feel like an introvert. And then I count down from like three, two, one, and then I just go do it. I'm not going to say I do that 100% of the time. You know, sometimes like I let my over 
analyze and consume me. And I really try and work on that. But the more times you do it and you do the thing that you're scared of doing, the easier it gets to do it next time. You, you kind of, you have to like fight it a little bit. It, it, you're never going to break that cycle of being like in your own head if you don't actively try and do something when you're in the moment. And the only way to really get better at it is through fucking in the field, bro. You got you to gotta go through the experience yourself and uh, break down those barriers. And I'm sure, you know, I'm not the only one that thinks that way. And I know a lot of you guys probably have that same problem. Um, and there's probably a lot of you guys that are really confident. And that's great too. But for the ones that are like that, because I'm like that as well. I've always been like that. Um, you know, you just, just got to live in the moment and take risks. And not everything's going to be controlled. The best things in life are on the other side of that fear, honestly. And, and that's such a cliche saying but you can apply that to so many things i was scared to start doing this i got bullied for doing like fitness in high school especially before tiktok and all that stuff it, this was like so taboo to do and when i did it i was so scared to like post myself online especially like shirtless and all that stuff because i knew it was going to come with the backlash and everything everybody's calling me gay and like all this stuff and you know not that there's anything wrong with being gay it's just like people are using it more as an insult and it's just like the like you know what like Oh, he's weird. Oh, he's gay. Like, who gives a fuck, bro? Like, you know, now those people look at me and they want to work out with me or like they ask me, oh, how you been, bro? Like, you seem to be, you're killing it, bro. Like, I remember you, I remember back in high school when you were posting, bro. I'm like, yeah, I remember you fucking hating on me, bro. Like, you know, like that's just what happens in society and you can't think too much into it, but I'm sure you guys have heard that from other people that are successful. It's just weird how it works. Like you, you do that and you get people trying to make it way harder for you to do what you're trying to do because they know they low key want to do that shit or they know that you'll probably be successful in it and you're going to go past them like it's like what if it works out all those people are low key looking at you like oh, like what if it works out like yeah i'm gonna hate and everything but like i'm still gonna keep my fucking tabs on steph you know to make sure oh, no, what if it works out like then i can say like, oh yeah bro i've been here bro like oh no you fucking haven't you tried to make it way harder um but honestly, my best piece of advice is if, if, if people are trying to make things harder for you, to use that as motivation to go at it even harder. It's like uh, the rubber band theory. The rubber band, I don't know what the fuck you'd call it, but I, I remember watching this guy, sorry if I can't quote him, if you guys know who it is, you can put it in the comments, but this guy was talking about like a rubber band and here's people that all do the same thing and want to hold you down, right? And they're holding you down and then say there's a rubber band attached to you and then you're here. You're, you're trying to pull away a little bit. You're trying, to, you're trying to go against the grain a little. You're trying to do your own thing. And then as you move, the tension in that rubber band builds and builds and builds. And when you get here, you know, the tension is at the highest point and you're like, damn, this is so hard. Like I should give up. But then if you just move just a little bit, that freaking rubber band snaps. So I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. I don't know if I explained that well. That holds so true to everything in life. I think that's such a fundamental principle of the way things work and success in general is when things are the hardest, you are actually so close to being successful, but you think it's not. You think you're so far away because of how hard it is, but, but that actually is an indicator that's telling you you're close, just keep going. And I don't know how many of you are really religious. I really feel like through God, I've always put my trust in him in, in terms of, especially as of recently, and just knowing he has a plan for me, knowing that, okay, if I just push through this thing, there's something good on the other side. I just know it because I put my faith in God and I, I put my faith in myself and I know that I could get through anything if I just put in the work and keep moving forward. So... I'll leave you guys with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. Without further ado, drop a like on the video. And if you're not already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.